Set to go. Tennessee and Auburn in Knoxville. Tennessee will be kicking off as Auburn won the toss. Carl Crimser will kick deep for Auburn. Freddie Hyatt, number 88, number 23. Downfield is Mike Courier as the home season is underway. And the kick is going to go out of bounds. So it will be Tennessee kicking off again. Tennessee kicking off from the 35-yard line this time after the first kickoff went out of bounds. So once again, Carl Crimson will kick off with Hyatt and Courier deep. The kick again coming to the near sideline, again out of bounds. So it will be another kickoff this time from the 30-yard line. This time, Tennessee will kick off after the first two go out of bounds. Crimson from the 30-yard line, a long kick coming down to the 13th. Carter, the quarterback, motion on the left side to give comes to give him stop by the center of the line after two yards. Auburn penalized five yards. Illegal procedure makes it first down, 15 to go at the 26. Hyatt splits wide out to the right. Christian inside slot man on the right side. To give this time again to the fullback, and this is given for three yards. It'll be second down and 12. Rick Marino made the tackle on the last play. As this time, it comes to the second man, Plinky. Plinky carries the ball to the 32-yard line. Third down, about nine. Christian White out to the left as the give again comes to Plinky to the 36-yard line for off. Fourth down play coming up as drifting back deep for Tennessee is Charlie Fulton, apparently going into a single safety, but Baker may come back there with him. Fourth down, about five to go. Lunsford in there to punt Tennessee. Watching Auburn shifting, as you see. And now they drop a dual safety back, Baker and Fulton. Pass to Lunsford. Here's the fun angling out of bounds. And it is taken instead by Baker. Baker makes it all over there to Fulton. He's got a block, but he's trailed on a great tackle by Auburn as the marker flies, and there's going to be a penalty. Tennessee draws a penalty half the distance to the goal on a cliff. And Baker almost in the corner, but right there the cliff occurred, and it'll be first and 10 at the 11. Flowers inside, slant man on the left side. As the give comes to Charlie Fulton, got the hole. Charlie Fulton goes 19 yards on the first play, and the Volunteers have a first down, 10 to go. Warren, the quarterback, gives on the counter to Pickens, and Pickens nice through for maybe three yards, second down and seven to go. A capacity crowd on hand for the home opener, Tennessee and Auburn. Tackle on the last play made by the linebacker, the veteran Murchison, who's quite a bat, uh, football player for this Auburn team. Wide out left comes Dalton. Warren comes over this way. There's Fulton again, and he stumbles forward at the 36-yard line. Short of a first, it'll be third down. Third down, five to go. Big third down play for Tennessee as Warren rolling out looking for Flowers. He throws to Flowers. The pass is over for an Herman Weaver, the Tennessee punter. Single safety back deep for Auburn. Becomes Jimmy Carter. Here's the punt. An end over end kick. Angling for the west side line and goes out of bounds at the 31 yard line. Carter, the quarterback for Auburn. Time to give comes to the fullback who carries for maybe two yards, second down, and eight to go. Middle guard Rick Marino made the tackle on the last play, rolling out to the left this time goes Lauren Carter. He throws the pass in. Ten thirty-five to go on the first period. Out wide to the right is Tim Christian. Out to the left is Hyatt. The give comes to the fullback Giffen for a yard, maybe two, stopped by the center of the line. Fourth down play upcoming as Tennessee sends Fulton back as a single safety. Auburn comes out in a T and will probably shift into punt formation. Lunsford, the punter, is in there. Here's the shift. Now Tennessee sends Baker back on the left side, Fulton on the right side, and Lunsford is the punter for Auburn. Last year, a great punter and another one this year. Here's a spiraling punt coming to the near sideline, goes out of bounds, and Tennessee takes over at the 25. Tennessee backfield, Warren at quarterback, Fulton tailback, fullback is Pickens, and Richmond Flowers, the wingback. Split end, out to the right this time is Terry Dalton. Warren is the quarterback for Tennessee. Gives to Richard Pickens, ninth through to the 35-yard line, second and third. 
Arderson and McKay, the linebackers for Auburn, as the give again comes to Pickens, stop near the line of scrimmage. Third down playoff coming for Tennessee, and a big one it is. Warren will throw. He's going to run. He's got the hole in the 40, and it looks like a first down. Tennessee picks up its second first down as Warren faked the pass, saw the corridor, and carried it. Here's Fulton, man in motion out to the right. Warren rolling back to throw, looking for... who caught the ball. Mike Gooch opening it tight end made a fine reception as he cut diagonally right left across that secondary. Warren rolling out to the left side. Got a block, turns the corner down to the 34-yard line. Where it's going to be second down and six. Fulton man in motion out to the right. Warren back to throw, looking there for Gooch again. Hit the ball, and it's out of it, and it's incomplete. Auburn is here in full force, a crowd of, a capacity crowd, and there you see the Auburn Tiger, the mascot, who is here to lead the cheering as the volunteers break out of the huddle. Splitting Dalton wide to the right, slot man right is Flowers. Man in motion out that way is Fulton as they overload that zone. Warren looking over that way, looks back for Gooch, throws deep for him, and it's intercepted. Lauren Carter gives off this time to the fullback. Giffen up he goes to the 35-yard line. Tennessee with two new linebackers or one new. There's a fumble, and Carter falls on the ball at the 35-yard line for no gain. 64, linebacking for Tennessee. Jack Reynolds on the left side. Steve Kiner, 57 on the right. Wide out to the left goes Hyatt. Lauren Carter, the quarterback, behind him, 34. And 36, Cleggie gets the ball, and he is stopped with the line of scrimmage. Reynolds was there. There's the Auburn shift into the punt. Bill Baker, a single safety for Tennessee as the volunteers are shunning around in that line. Here's the spiraling punt coming to the near sideline. Baker trails it over and catches the ball out of bounds. Tennessee takes over. Tennessee's attack rolling out behind Fulton. Throws the ball to Richmond Flowers. Spins free at the 40, but is written out of bounds. First and 10. Man in motion to the near side is Charlie Fulton. The give comes to Walter Chadwick. Chadwick gets the ball to the 45. Runs into the end and it's down at the 47. Chadwick running at fullback for Tennessee. Fulton in there too. Warren rolling back, throwing this time to the near man, and that's Dalton, who has wrestled down after a gain of two. Another big third down play of coming for Tennessee. As Richard Pickens returns at fullback, there's Flowers out to the right, Dalton to the left. Fulton in there at tailback, Pickens at fullback. Third down, three to go. Warren. Pitches back to Fulton, looking behind Pickens, cuts inside of the 50, down to the 45, and ties ball to the Auburn 42. First down, Tennessee. Walter Chadwick returns at fullback, gets the ball, comes to the 40, to the 35, to the 30, to the 25, to the 22 yard line, first down, 10 to go. man has made the tackle on the last two plays for Auburn. Tennessee's Dalton wide out to the left. The give this time to Fulton and he is back at the line of scrimmage to the man who knifed through there with Marjuson. Tennessee second down 11 to go. Warren fakes, rolls left, looking down and out of bounds but it's going to be Tennessee's ball first down at the other. Kenny DeLong makes the fine section on the last play. Walter Chadwick playing tailback becomes a man in motion as Richard Pickens gets the ball to the 10. To the line, to the three yard line. <laughs> Terry Dalton back in becomes a split into the left. Fullback is Pickens 34. The tailback is Walter Chadwick number 20. Warren jumps, throws, touchdown! Over 
Cougars six to nothing with 106 to go in the first period. Auburn 7 to nothing. Carl Crimson will be kicking off for Tennessee, and here's the kick coming downfield. Bounds picked up here by Hyatt. Back he comes to the 20, and then he is knocked down as he carries it over the 24 yard line where Auburn puts it in play. Tennessee leading 7 to nothing. Carter gives the ball off to Giffen, the fullback. He comes forward for two, maybe three yards. Defensive end for Tennessee, Showalter and McMean. Carter back to throw. Here it comes, it is completed out here with the ball of Hyatt who carries the ball down to the Tennessee 48 yard line. First and 10 for Auburn, their first. <laughs> Defensively on the last play, Weatherford and Dorsey teamed up for the tackle. Auburn has the ball in Tennessee territory. As the give this time comes to Richard Flaggy, and Flaggy carries it down to the Tennessee 43. Back to throw is Carter. Bakes now pitches downfield. It is completed. Pulled down by Carolard at the 30 where he's dropped. First down, Auburn. Auburn rolling. Carter fakes a handoff to Pleggy looking for Hyatt. Throws to him and it's completed and he's down by Jones, but it's another first down for Auburn. Hyatt out wide to the right. Come, coming is Pleggy with the ball and he stumbles forward past the 15 down to the 13 yard line. Tennessee's Williams and Showalter teamed up for the tackle on the last play. Marino and Weatherford, the rest of the front wall for Tennessee linebackers, Reynolds and Kiner as Auburn is rolling. Out goes Carter, looking for Parallard. Throw short instead for the close man and diving forward is the tight end for a first down and goal. Tim Christian made the catch on the last play for the first down. Coming wide out to the left is Clingy. He stopped at the one yard line. Tennessee's goal line defense digging in. Second down play for Auburn. 36 is Flaggy. 34 is Ippon. Carter keeps, dives, touchdown for Auburn. Tennessee leads 7 to 6. Coming on to attempt the conversion is Riley. The kick is up. The kick is good. And the score is tied. Auburn 7, Tennessee 7. Riley will kick off as Auburn has come back to tie this football game. Deep for Tennessee. Callaway. And Chad, long end over end kick, taken eight yards deep and down by Callaway in the end zone. Wide out to the right comes Flowers. This is Chadwick, man in motion. Warren gives the ball off to the fullback. Pickens carries the ball to the 26-yard line. Once again, the Auburn linebackers, Margerson and McKay, team up for the tackle. Pitch back comes to Tennessee. Puts the ball to Walter Chadwick. He carries the first down up to the 37-yard line. Richmond Flowers wide out to the left for Tennessee. Split in right is Dalton. Man in motion to the left this time is Chadwick taking McKay out there with him. The give back comes to the counter and puts the ball to Pickens. And Pickens carries the ball to the 46 yard line. Blocking up front for Tennessee is Gamage, Graham, Johnson, Rosenfeld, or Boynton. Warren gives the ball back. Cutting through there is Chadwick. Pass midfield. Looks like a first down at the 49 of Auburn. Auburn with a four man front. Now becomes a five-man front as Warren goes back to throw. Decides to run. 50, 45, 40, 35, 34-yard line. First down, Tennessee. Tennessee breaks in the huddle, out to the left goes Dalton, Flowers out to the right, first down play for the Volunteers, score side 7-7, pitch back to Charlie Fulton, cuts inside, pick and block for maybe a yard. Tucker was the man who plugged the gap to stop Fulton on the last play, fake by Warren, throwing to the tight end and carrying the ball down to the 26 yard line, it's on the On the last play, as you probably saw, DeLong made the catch, and then the ball was stolen, and Auburn gets possession at its own 26-yard line. Carter is the quarterback, giving the ball to Pleggy. Pleggy comes up to the 31-yard line, where he's stopped by Weatherford. Hyatt splitting out wide to the right. Carter gives the ball again to Pleggy, and Pleggy has it up to the 34-yard line, stopped by the center of the line. 
Auburn guilty of an infraction on the last play, and it will be a 15-yard penalty, as you see the referee, R.P. Williams, stepping it off, and it will move the ball back downfield to the Auburn 19-yard line, and the penalty was for holding. Second down and 17. Wing back, Timmy Christian, wide to the right. Hyatt is to the left, as Carter is going to throw. Throws to the end, Christian incomplete. Third down, 17, and Auburn has Lunsford back at the five for punting. Will Baker, single safety for Tennessee. Pass, punt. Wobbly, Baker under it at the 38, 40, 45, 50. That's the Auburn 46 yard line. Here's a penalty against the University of Tennessee Volunteers after on that punt, a 15 yard penalty. Moves the ball out to the 34. It'll be third down and two. It's for holding. Third down play for Auburn. Gibb, Giffen dives through for what may be a first down to the 36. Rick Marino makes the tackle as you see the measurement, and it is first down and 10 to go for Auburn. Carter fading back to throw. Down the middle it is incomplete, almost intercepted by Glover. Tennessee 7, Auburn 7, Christian to the right, Hyatt to the left. The gift comes to Pleggy, and Pleggy carries for a yard, maybe two. Jack Reynolds, Neil McMeans team up for the tackle on the last play and Carter back to throw. It's completed down to Freddie Hyatt who carries the ball for the first and ten at the Tennessee 48, a marker drop. Here's a 15-yard step off against Tennessee for the personal foul following that last completion to Hyatt and it becomes a first down and ten to go for Auburn at the Tennessee 32-yard line. Carter back to throw, looking for Hyatt on the near side. The pass intended for the close man is incomplete. Auburn second down, 10 to go. Back to throw Carter. Cross the grain, pass incomplete, intended for Pleggy out of bounds. Crucial play for the Plainsman. Carter gives on the counter to Pleggy, who nice through the right side of the line to the 29 yard line. Buddy McClinton will hold for Riley's 46 yard field goal attempt. The kick is in the air, the kick is good. And the score is Auburn 10, Tennessee 7. Auburn gains the lead for the first time on a 46-yard field goal by Riley. And so it's 10-7 in favor of Auburn as Riley will now kick off for the Plainsman. Tennessee led 7-0, and it was 7-7. Now it's 10-7 in favor of Auburn as the kick goes deep into the end zone and is received and down by Callaway. Volunteers have Dewey Warren at quarterback. Warren gives the ball over to Fulton. Fulton has the ball to 35. Fulton brings that ball from the 20 up to the 45, a 25-yard scamper for the tailback, and Tennessee has it first down and 10 to go, trailing 10 to 7. Richmond Flowers out to the right, Terry Dalton out to the left as Fulton becomes a man in motion to the near side. Back to throw Dewey Warren. Cutting through there goes Flowers, the pass and set is completed to Fulton. Fulton behind the long is then dropped to the 45-yard line of over. Walter Chad with command in motion out to the left side. Pickens on the counter through the middle of the point. McClinton up to make the tackle of the last play as the pitch back comes to Chadwick. Good block by Warren right there. And cutting up the line, he Chadwick down to the 18 yard line. Maybe another first down. Make that the 22. It's another first down for Tennessee as Fulton has returned his tailback. There's the pitch back to him. Pickens gets him a block. Then Fulton in heavy traffic carries to the 20 round, second down nine. Flowers man out to the right. The give comes to Fulton. There he goes. Edging through down. Great one down there. Chadwick comes on to replace Charlie Fulton. First down, 10 for Tennessee. Warren rolling right, throws the pass, it's completed. It's off by the long down, he goes to the two-yard line. It should be a first down and goal to go. Tom Calloway has come on, replacing Richmond Flowers in the Tennessee backfield to add blocking support to the Volunteers. We have it first down and goal to go. As Kenny DeLong makes a reception from the fullback is Pickens, the tailback is Chadwick. The give is to Pickens. He is down right foot to that goal line. Stop just as you shine. 
Remember the capacity crowd as Tennessee breaks the huddle to the line of scrimmage. Warren is the quarterback. The fullback is Pickens. Tailback is Fulton. On the left side is Callaway. Warren keeps in to the end zone for a Tennessee touchdown. The Volunteers take the lead 13 to 10 as they go 80 yards with running. And Dewey Warren will be holding as Carl Trimser will be attempting an all-important extra point that could give Tennessee a four-point lead and put them beyond field goal range for a time. If the kick is up, the kick is good! And Tennessee leads Auburn 14 to 10. Carl Crimson will be kicking off of the Volunteers who have reassumed the lead. And here's an onside attempt that is fumbled out of bounds by Auburn and the Flamesman will have the ball at the 42-yard line. Split left Hyatt, out to the right Christian. Carter will throw. He's being rushed. Now he's got a running room on the left side and he runs out of bounds. Here at the 43-yard line. Christian wide out to the right with a minute 11 to go. Carter back to throw, looking for Christian. Now he's looking downfield for Christian and it's incomplete. Third down play upcoming with a minute six to go. Carter back to throw, looking for Christian. Throws it dead deep for Carroll Lard. It is caught by Carroll Lard and he's knocked out of bounds at the Tennessee 33-yard line. There you see, 58 seconds left to go in the first half as Carillard makes a great reception for Auburn. It's first and 10 to go at the Tennessee 28-yard line. Auburn rolling again as Carter comes out to the left. Looks for Hyatt, decides to run, and is stopped before he gets out of bounds, I believe. Out to the left, Hyatt. Back to throw is Carter looking for Hyatt. Throws for him and is incomplete as he drops the ball at the 18. Big play coming up for the Plainsman. Here they come out of the huddle up to the line of scrimmage. Third down, 10 to go at the 28-yard line. Carter with a tight set. Rolls out to the right. Throws. It is completed to the fullback Giffen, and he is dumped by Glover. Fourth down. 11 seconds to go in the first half of the game. Tennessee leads 14 to 10, and Auburn has Riley, who kicked earlier a field goal of 46 yards, going for one this time that is up in the air, and the kick is... Good, and the score is Tennessee 14, Auburn 13. A 44-yard field goal by Riley edges Auburn close to Tennessee with only five seconds to go in the first half. The score is Tennessee 14 and Auburn 13. Riley, who has kicked off twice both times into the Tennessee end zone for touchbacks, will be kicking off again for the Plainsman. And he tries an onside, a short one, that is going to be pulled down by Murphy, who gets the ball at the 30, cutting up field at the 35, carries to the 37, out to the 38, 39, as the first half comes to a close. And the score at the end of the first half is Tennessee 14, Auburn 13. Tennessee leads 14 to 13 as the second half gets underway. Auburn with two field goals and a touchdown. Tennessee with two touchdowns in the first half. The Riley crowd here and picking off will be John Riley for Auburn. And here's his kick. A wobbly kick that takes a crazy bounce there and picks up by Callaway at the 15, the 20, and the 25. Breaks free to the 30. Spins loose to the 35. And knocks out of bounds to the 30 yard line. Flowers wide out to the right for Tennessee. Set behind Warren. Pickens and Fulton. Warren looking for Flowers. Cuts to the outside. Here's the pass. It is deflected and knocked out of bounds on a fine defensive play by Auburn's Ferguson. Flowers wide out to the right under single coverage of Fulgham. Give on the counter comes on the draw, rather. It's the biggest to the 40. Burning up to the 45 yard line. Very, very close to a first down. Richard Pickens carried that football on the draw, and they're measuring to see whether or not it's the first down. It's very, very close. It is inches shy. Big third down play for the Volunteers. Third and inches. Warren keeps, sneaks, squirms, and I believe he fell forward for a first down. Flowers to the left. Dalton to the right. Warren back by Pickens and Fulton. Gives to Pickens. Pickens carries the ball for two yards to the 49-yard line. Linebacker Don McKay makes the stop on the last play. As Warren gives the ball to Fulton, he spins momentarily free and is then stopped as he carries the ball for a gain of three. It was McKay again who made the tackle on Fulton. Third down, four to go. Warren back. Looking, decides to run and dives down to the 44, 45-yard line. Jimmy Carter deep for Auburn as Herman Weaver is in to punt. Here's his punt. It's a high one. 
Flowers downfield covering. And the ball is down by Flowers at the Auburn 10. Tight set for the plainsman. The gift comes to Cleggie. Cleggie nightly over the right side of the line at the 13-yard line. Second down, six for Auburn. Marino and Reynolds tackle on the last play. This is the fullback given. Stacked up by the right side of the Tennessee line for a little game. Rick Marino defensively with Showalter on the last play. Third down, about six. And Lunford is in the punt. Gets the punt away. Coming up field to Bill Baker, who is under the ball at the 50 and is spun down as he catches that football at the 47-yard line of Auburn. Flowers out to the near side. Out to the left goes Dalton. Warren rolling out behind, blocking. Cuts inside. That's Fulton carrying the football. And quarterback as Warren was taken up on the last play. And it's Charlie Fulton, that quarterback, running it down to the 40. As we told you, Charlie Fulton playing quarterback now for Tennessee as Warren was shaken up. Fulton keeps. Gets away from the linebacker momentarily. Then is spun down by McKay as he carries the ball to the 38. Here comes the measurement on the last play as Charlie Fulton is operating at quarterback. Warren apparently injured his leg slightly on the last play. It's about a foot shy of a first down, so it will be third down upcoming for Tennessee. Tennessee third down, a foot to go. Big play, Fulton the quarterback. Fulton, deep, follows Callaway's block for what appears to be a first down. Dalton comes out wide to the right, slot man on the right side is Flowers. Charlie Fulton the quarterback. There's a flag, it looks like motion in the Tennessee line, and Fulton is back behind the line of scrimmage. An illegal procedure penalty against Tennessee for motion in the line declined as Fulton loses two at second down and 12 to go for the Volunteers. Fulton at quarterback. Gives the ball to Chadwick. Chadwick gets a small opening and squeezes through down to the 31-yard line. Another crucial third down situation. Flowers comes wide out to the right. Fulton looking for him, then may run. He cuts inside, gets away from one man. He's got it. Charlie Fulton at quarterback engineering the drive. It's first down at 10 to go at the 26. Here's the give to Chadwick, and Chadwick barrels over the left side at the 21. Richard Calloway now playing tailback for Tennessee. Out to the right, Dalton. Out to the left goes Flowers. Fulton, the quarterback. Keeps. Cuts outside. Flowers block. Carries that ball to the 16. Third down inches to go for Tennessee as Fulton moves the ball down there to the 16-yard line. Tom Calloway has come on at wing back for blocking support. Third down inches to go. Man in motion. Chadwick out this way. The give is to Pickens. He goes past the 15. It appears to be a first down and 10 to go for Tennessee. <laughs> Richmond Flowers back in at wing back. First down 10 for Tennessee. Here's Fulton looking for Flowers. Throw short. Incomplete. Fulton gives it off to Chadwick twisting down to the 11 yard line. Galloway in a tailback, sliding to the left, to the right is Flowers, Fulton looking for it, throws his head for the tight man, long at the 10, and Tennessee leads 20 to 13 as Crimser 
will attempt at this time, and the kick is up, and this time it is no good off to the left, and the score is Tennessee 20, Auburn 13. A penalty against the Volunteers on the first extra point attempt, which was good. Results in a five-yard penalty, and the Volunteers missed the second one. Here's Richard kick. It goes down into the end zone, trailed down there by Hyatt, and it looks as if it will be a touchback. Tennessee 20, Auburn 13. Big series for the Plainsman. Giffen gets maybe a yard or two in the center of the line. Hyatt wide out to the right is Marino, and Kiner teamed up with the tackle of the last play. Plaguey gets to the 26-yard line as he cuts over right side. Third and five, Christian to the left, Hyatt to the right. The give on the counter goes to Plaguey, who gets up close to the 30-yard line. Charlie Fulton back deep as it's a fourth down two situation with Lunsford. Back in punting formation for Auburn. There's the snap. The punt is away, angling toward... Charlie Fulton, who signals for and receives a fair catch at the Tennessee 40-yard line. Gary Chris splits out to the right. Charlie Fulton still at quarterback. Rolling behind. Throws for Chris. It's short incomplete. Flowers flanks out to the left. Fulton pitches back to Chadwick. Gets the blocks from Pickens, but then in there to fill the hole was Margerson after a gain of two. Third down, eight and a half yards to go as Chadwick becomes a man in motion to the left. Fulton gets the Pickens. Bouchelon recovered the fumble on the last play as the pass from Carter intended for Hyatt is incomplete. The Auburn band cheering the Plainsman on as they break the huddle, sending Hyatt out to the right. Christian splits out to the left. Tennessee adjusting its defense as Carter fades back to throw. Rushed by Reynolds, throws to out down here to Hurston, and Hurston carries the ball to the 28-yard line. First down and 10 to go for Auburn as the Plainsman recover a fumble. And they're moving. Give comes to the fullback Giffen, and he carries to the 26-yard line. Second down, eight to go. Wide out to the left comes Christian. Carter looking for Christian. Again, splits wide out to the left for Tennessee. He's a speedster. Bolden looking for him. He's going to throw deep. Long pass for McGeehan is incomplete at the four yard line. Flowers back in at wing back, replacing McGeehan. Charlie Bolden at quarterback for Tennessee. Keep cuts inside Flowers and carries the ball to the 45 yard line. Third down, six to go for Tennessee. Terry Dalton to the right. Pitch back, double reverse to Richmond Flowers. He's one block. i 
run for Tennessee. There's the snap. There's the punt, and it's a spiral that is going downfield and is into the end zone, as you see, for another touchback. And Auburn puts it in play at the 20. The Plainsmen take over. First and 10 at the Auburn 20-yard line. Tennessee leads 20 to 13 in the fourth period. They give this time to Flaky, or rather Hurston, and Hurston has it to the 27-yard line. Larry Blakeney, the quarterback for Auburn, rolling out to the right. Throws downfield to high and out of bounds. Yes, he's out of bounds. Blakeney, the quarterback. Here he's back to throw. Looking for Christian. Throws completed to Christian. He gets the ball to the 40-yard line. Auburn's got a first down. Blakeney keeps, takes, carries for two. Hyatt out to the left, Christian out to the near side. There goes Blakeney, trailing through there, Derek Weatherford. He cuts inside and carries the ball to the 45-yard line, and Reynolds is there on the tackle. Ten minutes left as Blakeney brings them up, third down and five. Throws, it is incomplete intended for Hurston. Auburn shifting into punt formation. Baker back deep along with Charlie Fulton for Tennessee as Lunsford is the punter. There's the snap, the punt. It's a good one. And it will go out of bounds. A pretty stiff breeze against the Volunteers. They, they put it in play first and 10 at the 18-yard line. Charlie Fulton, still the quarterback, throws it is incomplete intended for Bowers. Barry Dalton splits out to the left end. Charlie Fulton throws to the close man power to the 25 to the 30 at the 34-yard line. First down, 10 to go for Tennessee. Nine minutes to go in the football game. Tennessee 20 to 13 over Auburn. Fulton keeps, cuts up the field, spins loose, carries for four yards. Second down, seven for Tennessee. Holdsclaw made the tackle on Fulton a moment ago. Fulton this time rolling out behind, throws to Flowers. Flowers is hit after a gain of a yard. Widening out to the right goes Terry Dalton. Fulton at quarterback still for Tennessee, replacing the injured Warren. Roll, cut the spot side, gets free from one round to the 40, to the 45, to the 50, back down around on the Auburn 46 yard line. Man in motion out to the right is Walter Chatford behind uh, Flowers out there as the gift comes to pick and he battles his way down to the 40 yard line. Second and four. Linebackers Yarbrough and Ferguson make the tackle on the last play. Here's Fulton giving the ball over to Chadwick. And he darts down to the 37. Mike Price flanking wide out to the right. Third down, a yard to go. Fulton keeps, gets his first to the 35-yard line. Well, they're going to measure to see. We thought it was a first as they stretched them. Let's see. Yes. Price, an inside slot man, as Fulton rolls out looking for the close man. Price the catch. Six minutes to go, first and 10, Tennessee at the Auburn 21. Give Chadwick to the 18. Tennessee operating with Pickens, Chadwick. There goes Flowers wide out to the right. Now they strong sided to the left this side. Time no to the right. There's the long outside, Boynton on the right side. Split out to the left is Chris. Bolden, long count, looking, throws. Completed to Flowers. First down goal at the eight yard line. Terry Dalton back in, splits out to the right. Out to the left is Flowers. Pitch back up to Chadwick. The nine to the
Auburn has the football, fumbled by Blakeney. I believe he dived on it to recover it for no gain. Blakeney rolling out, looking for Hurston. Throws downfield, incomplete. Almost intercepted by Dorsey, intended for Christian. Third down 10, Christian now playing as they split in. Pass for him is, as a trap? Yes, incomplete. Four minutes, two seconds to go on the game. Tennessee leads Auburn, 27 to 13. Lunsford in there on a fourth down situation. Waits, he's gonna run. Backed over there by Derek Weatherford. Horse collar and down at the 18. Mike Price wide out to the left. Callaway, the man in motion this way. Fulton fading back to throw. Cutting through, there goes the tight end who was huge, but Fulton was dick back up field. Chris wide out to the right. Coming out to the left, Mike Price. Two Callaways in there. Tom and Richard, the man in motion. Tom blocking for Fulton, being rushed again. Gets away from one man, running down the left side, throws long, pass down here for Chris, that is incomplete. We said, Chris, it was 21 Callaway, not 91. Almost catching that ball. Here's Fulton back to throw again. He's got to run, and it's decked as he does on the line to cut this line. Charlie Fulton leads. Freddie Hyatt back in there, it's split in wide out to the right. Quarterback is Brizendine. Pitching for Hyatt. Caught. Chris Free. Followed by Jones. He pushes him out of bounds at the Tennessee 44 yard line. Sophomore Dwight Brizendine in there at quarterback. Keeps his time, runs up field, and is tackled after a gain of seven yards. Marino made the tackle in the last play. He's played a fine game in middle guard. Brizendine. Looking back. Rush. Pass. Deflection incomplete. 27 to 13 to score in favor of Tennessee. Back to throw Brizendine, being rushed, and is tackled by Derek Weatherford. Fourth down, three yards to go. Brizendine is the quarterback. He's going to throw. He's being rushed. Long pass downfield is batted out of bounds. Incomplete. Tennessee will take over. Bubba White in his quarterback for the Volunteers. Then gives to Tom Callaway, who comes up for two yards. Marker flies. Tennessee, a judge holding on the last play, draws a 15-yard penalty. It's first down and 25 yards to go with a minute 33 as the give comes to Richard Callaway, who gets maybe four yards. One minute to go as Richard Callaway becomes the man in motion. The give comes to Tom Callaway on the counter, and he is written down after a loss of a yard. 45 seconds left to go in the football game, as this time the handoff comes to Richard Callaway. Fourth down play for Tennessee. With 30 seconds to go, Herman Weaver, back in punting formation. Gets his punt away. Deep is Carter for Auburn. Trails the ball to the 38-yard line, to the 40, to the 45, to the 50, and he's upended at the 46. Tennessee in a prevent defense with a four-man front. Brizendine throwing, it is incomplete. Christian to the right, Hyatt to the left, Brizendine back to throw. Pumps now, pitches long for Hyatt out of bounds. Seven seconds to go in the football game. Tennessee leading 27 to 13. Brizendine blindsided, but gets the pass away. It's picked off here by Kidd, and Kidd still running with the ball at the 31 yard line. And the Buckers down. And the Volunteers of Tennessee have defeated Auburn 27 to 13 in an exciting football game. They shake hands. A great football afternoon for both sides. And of course, Tennessee, spearheaded by Charlie Fulton in the second half, goes on to win its first Southeastern Conference victory of the year, 27 to 13.